if people are not willing to change, then it's up to you to put up boundaries, okay? You can't get angry at someone for invading your boundaries if you keep letting them in the door, okay? It's your responsibility to keep your property safe. Hello, this is Lorraine, and welcome to Healthy Living, Spirit, Soul, and Body. So today we're going to be talking about boundaries and what is a boundary and who should we let into our property and who should we keep out and what is our responsibility and what isn't okay and you know it's a funny thing if you love someone you want to make them happy you want to make them comfortable but really that's not really what love is okay so hear me out Love really is wanting the best for a person, wanting the person to be the best that they can be, okay? And sometimes that means letting the person learn and letting the person um, grow, and sometimes that can be painful. However, those, those times of growing and learning and failing um, are what helps that person to be the best person that they can be. Let's talk a little bit more about boundaries. Let's learn and see that it's okay to protect yourself and it's okay to um, keep certain people out and allow certain people to come in. So here we go. So what is a boundary? Okay, a, a boundary is a property line around your soul, around your feelings, around things that are important to you, around your secrets. A boundary is something that keeps you safe, okay? That um, enables you to have control over what you let in and who you let out. Uh, so think about how important that is. As I mentioned um, in the intro, love is not necessarily making somebody comfortable and happy, okay? So a lot of times people guilt us make manipulate us in a sense and say oh well if you really loved me you would take this responsibility or if you really loved me you would um you know do this for me or do that for me and all these different things that are just manipulative okay but love is something where you want the best for a person and really the best for a person is having them learn to be responsible for themselves that's the best, that's the way they're gonna learn. That's how they're gonna become the best that they can be. That's how they're gonna become a responsible person, okay? That's gonna be healthy to be around. That's gonna have healthy relationships, okay? People's actions need to affect them and not you. And that's where boundaries can get a little jumbled up because when you start taking the results or the repercussions of somebody else's actions, then they're not really learning. When you take responsibility for someone else's problem, then you've crossed the boundary line. The end result is they are irresponsible and happy, and you are responsible and miserable. So I wanna mention now that um, most of the content from this podcast came from a book by Henry Cloud and John Townsend called Boundaries. Okay, you may have heard of it, but it's an excellent book about boundaries. One of the things that they talk about, and I mentioned it in my Facebook Live, is there's a verse in Galatians 6 that talks about bearing each other's load, okay, or bearing each other's burden. So, um, here's the thing. So it begins the chapter, Galatians 6, and it says that you need to bear each other's burden and so fulfill the law of Christ. And what that word burden means there is it's a big boulder. It's, it's what happens when people are met with a crisis that is too big for them to bear. And so what happens, um, that is something that you should help somebody bear. That's that's really the law of Christ. You should sacrifice and help somebody bear something that's too heavy for them. And uh, really the person that's bearing the burden 
needs to ask for help um, and then the person that is their friend or you know you need to help them bear the burden and that's healthy and that's normal okay when you're bearing something that that's that big you shouldn't have to carry it on your own so then it a, a verse or two later it says that everybody needs to carry their own load and that word load and burden are two different words the word burden means a huge boulder and the word load means what could fit in a knapsack not something that's somebody's personal responsibility so in this book boundaries it says problems arise when people act as if their boulders the big boulders are daily loads and refuse help or act as if their daily loads are boulders and they shouldn't have to carry them the result of these two instances are either perpetual pain or irresponsibility okay so the bottom line is, is everybody needs to be responsible for their own lives. So I want to read this um, example that the Cloud and Townsend Boundary Book talks about, okay? And it says, the parents of a 25-year-old man came to see me with a common request. They wanted to fix their son, Bill. When I asked where Bill was, they answered, oh, he didn't want to come. Why? Well, he doesn't think he has a problem. They replied, maybe he's right, I said to their surprise. Tell me about it. They recited the history of problems that had begun at a very young age. Bill had never been quite up to snuff in their eyes. In recent years, he had exhibited problems with drugs and an inability to stay in school and find a career. It was apparent that they loved their son very much and were heartbroken over the way he was living. They had tried everything they knew to get him to change and live a responsible life, but all had failed. He was still using drugs, avoiding responsibility, and keeping questionable company. They told me that they had always given him everything he needed. He had plenty of money at school so he wouldn't have to work, and he would have plenty of time to study and have a social life. After they had talked for a while, I responded, I think your son is right. He doesn't have a problem. You could have mistaken their expression for a snapshot. They stared at me in disbelief for a full minute. Finally, the father said, did, you, did I hear you right? You don't think he has a problem? That's correct. He doesn't have a problem. You do. He can do pretty much whatever he wants. No problem. You pay, you fret, you worry, you plan, you exert energy to keep him going. He doesn't have a problem because you have taken it from him. Those things should be his problem, but as it now stands, they are yours. What would you like me to do? What would you like for me to help you help him to have some problems? They looked at me like I was crazy. But some lights were beginning to go on in their heads. What do you mean, help him have some problems? Well, I explained, I think the solution to this problem would be to clarify some boundaries so that his actions cause him some problems and not you. What do you mean, boundaries, the father asked? Look at it this way. It is as if he's your neighbor who never waters his lawn. But, whatever you, but whenever you turn on your sprinkler system, the water falls on his lawn. Your grass is turning brown and dying, but Bill looks down at his green grass and thinks to himself, my yard is doing fine. That is how your son's life is. He doesn't study or plan or work, yet he has a nice place to live, plenty of money, and all the rights of a family member who is doing his part. So after everything I just said, do you notice the problem? The problem is, is that he, the parents have taken the responsibility for his happiness and his comfortable and his leisure when he should be taking responsibility for it. He needs to be doing what it takes to make himself happy and comfortable. That is his responsibility. The parents took it upon themselves and what happened? They were miserable and he was happy. When you're in a situation like that, the best thing you can do is give the problems back to him so that he can see what it's like to bear the responsibility for his problems. So I also wanted to share a story, a personal story. 
I, there was a girl that I was friends with in grammar school and high school, okay? And she would literally sabotage my life. Um, for whatever reason, I was allowing her to come into my boundary, okay? And I mean, I would become friends with somebody and she would sabotage the, the friendship. She would lie to the person and tell them all these things about me. And I mean, it was crazy, it was hurting me. And I did take a couple steps back at that point. And then later on in my life, for whatever reason, um, I told her that I cared about uh, some guy. Okay, and I, mean, I really had a crush on this guy. So what do you think she does? She goes and she flaunts herself or whatever, and then she ends up dating him. And it totally, totally really messed me up. So um, I knew that I had to do something different. I needed to get her out of my life. So I just went up to her and I said, well, you know what? Um, a relationship between us does not work, okay? And I said, I don't want you calling me anymore, you know, goodbye. Basically, that's all I said, and that's how the relationship ended. I have never heard from her again, thank God. So, um, but my point is, is that I, need to I needed to learn where my boundaries were. I needed to stop allowing her to come into my life. And eventually, unfortunately, it took me that long, but eventually, that's what I did. So, here's the thing. We all have our property lines. We all have that space within us that has our feelings, our things that are important to us, our, our dreams, our emotions are all in this boundary, okay? And we are the ones that are responsible for our own happiness. We are the ones that are responsible who we let in and who we tell them that they have to leave. So. Um, it's so important for you to realize this. And here's the thing also, um, God put dreams in our heart and it is our responsibility to grow up healthy and strong. And if we allow the wrong people into our life, if we allow poison into our life or toxicity as some people bring with them, um, then we're harming our own life, we're harming our own soul and our own feelings. And then we can't grow up strong like God would want us to and to fulfill the dreams that he has for us and to be all that we could be for him, okay? So really, not setting good boundaries and allowing toxicity into our life hinders our growth. And it's not selfish to protect our boundaries because we are responsible to God for our life and we need to honor God, we need to put honoring God above other people's feelings, okay? And we need to let them know that you can go this far and no further. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and like and subscribe. It's always good to be mindful of the boundaries in your life that God gave you a responsibility to care, take care of your feelings and your emotions and things that are precious to you. He gave you the responsibility of a dream that he put in your heart. If people are not willing to change, then it's up to you to put up boundaries, okay? You can't get angry at someone for invading your boundaries if you keep letting them in the door. Okay. It's your responsibility to keep your property safe and to keep people out that are toxic, okay? So. Next week, I think I'm gonna be doing a good healthy recipe. Keep your eye out for it. And um, make sure that you're only letting people in that value you and are healthy for your, for your heart and for your mind and that are encouraging and supporting to you. Okay, life is too short and your dream is too important. Okay, have a great week. Bye-bye.